Hey everyone, it's Lori from the Buzzing Bee Collective. And um, I just ran out, went all over town doing some, doing some errands and almost every time I'm out, I stop at my Dollar Tree store to see if they have my favorite wine glasses in stock. Here it is. I get the 20.5 ounce stemless wine glass. They're very sturdy. They hold up really well, especially because we're going to be baking these later. So I like them. And uh, needless to say, they're affordable. So the first thing that I do is I get my area prepped. As I've told you, my workspace is my kitchen. This is rubbing alcohol. My workspace is my kitchen. So I just put down tablecloths, also from the dollar store, uh, to catch any drips. And I'll just tell you, Every time I start a paint project, I say to myself, I'm not gonna drip, I'm not gonna get any paint on my clothes, so I won't put on a smock or whatever. And let me just tell you, it never fails. Paint ends up in places where you don't want it to end up. So just be aware of that. Um, in the last video, I promised you I would show you the dried glass that we painted together. When I talked a little bit, I'm just putting on gloves because like I said, hey, paint's gonna get everywhere. Um, the glass that I told you, I would show you the glass that we made. Here it is. I have not glazed it or baked it yet. It will not look any different after I bake it, but it will look different when I put um, the glossy or satin top coat on it. Here's the inside, if you can see that. Kind of cool. So this is what we made together. And I kind of like it. Um, like I've also told you before, if you try to perfect your glass, if you try to duplicate a glass style, it's not gonna happen. You'll get close because you'll be using the same colors, but these glasses design themselves and that's what makes it fun. Um, the other thing I did while I was out is I went to my local Hobby Lobby. Shout out to them because they, once a week, will have 40% off of their Master's Touch brand paints, which I think are great paints. I love them. These um, have a really good thickness and body to them. Um, they have good pigment and they're very affordable. Normally this is $5.99 and 40% off, you know, that's a pretty good deal. And then of course, mixing in a little bit of my Liquitex glass medium to help the paint flow nicely. And uh, while I was there today, I saw they have these new pearlized colors, which just very, very slightly, I don't wanna say glittery, but just a little bit of a iridescence to them and I really like that. So I thought we would try to do a glass with these, these paints today. I'm gonna let you um, stick with me while I mix up these colors. The reason being, sometimes when a paint is a different, say for example, our, our gold, our gold glittery color, I've told you sometimes requires a bit more thinning because it has, I guess, gold flecks in it, or not gold flecks, or whatever, glitter in it, so it takes a little bit more thinning. So I'm just very curious to see what, what these paints will require to get the right consistency for pouring. So here's what it looks, gosh, that's pretty, look. It looks like patent, patent leather, or you know, See how thick it is? Okay. That is thick, which is good. I'm gonna put in, you know how I eyeball things, maybe a tablespoon of my glass medium. Maybe that was more like a big teaspoon. I will say this, the glass medium doesn't necessarily thin the paint. It just, 
I don't know, I don't wanna say it stabilizes it. I just think it gives it, see it's still just as thick. It makes the paint better when you are painting on glass. It adheres better, sticks better, or the same word, huh? All right, here we are. I'm gonna get some water, and like I told you before, add your water a little bit at a time. If you thin out paint too much, from what I've been told, it actually compromises the integrity of the paint. Um, some of its, some of the qualities of the paint as far as obviously uh, the opacity, um, how it will perform. I've never had problems, but I've heard some people say you cannot thin your paint with more than about 30% paint to water, which that would be a lot if it was a third water and two thirds paint. All right, here we go. Remember, mix and mix and then mix some more because you want it fully incorporated. Okay, look at that. We have a little bit of a drip going on here. Not quite, not quite enough. And I'll tell you why. Like we talked about with um, vases and with glasses, when you start your pour, the paint is going to naturally kind of pool on top of, on top, well, which is the bottom of the glass. And if too much paint remains there, or if there's too much paint running down the side of your glass, it will get kind of gloopy and thick looking, and, and you don't want that. You want to have a nice, fluid, smooth finish on the outside of your glass. All right, this is looking good. I'm liking this. Okay, we've got our paints mixed up. Um, I wanted to let you know that this is the pearlized crystal blue, the pearlized carbon black, which looks to me to be more like a dark sapphire blue. It's gorgeous. This is light purple. I don't think this one is iridescent. It's not. And then this is the pearlized golden green. And y'all, I mean, just look at Look at that, it's beautiful. We've got some bubbles. You know that's gonna happen. Um, I've got my handy dandy torch, which I talked about last time. Look how pretty she is. What a mess. But I just got this on Amazon. It was not expensive. You just buy the butane, fill it up, and good to go. All right. So I have cleaned my glass with alcohol. I've got my handy dandy, very attractive gloves on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my pour cup. So remember, I don't know if I told you this, generally speaking, the first color that you layer in your cup is going to be the one that is most prominent um, on your glass. So. This is the green, loving you. This is the purple. Now, have I, have I used these col this color combination before? No, I haven't. I'm one of those um, that just figures, well, let's just give it a whirl and see what happens. This is gold. I put gold in almost all my glasses just because I like the way it looks. I think it gives the glasses a little bit of a I don't know, bougie look. They just look kind of fancy. This blue has mixed up a tiny bit thicker, so I'm a little concerned. I'm gonna layer a tiny bit of, well, no, I'm gonna layer a tiny bit of green with that. And as I've talked about before, this is big old trial and error. Um, the good thing is, if you don't like what comes out, you can either let it dry Soak it and peel the paint off, or you can wash the paint off. All right, we need a little bit more. I'm gonna put some more purple. I hope you can see this. The colors are really pretty. And a little bit more gold.
All right, now, do you have to do it this way where you pour all of, your, all of your colors in a cup? You do not. You can put your colors on individually and you can twirl the glass around and mix them that way. Some people put theirs on a spinner, one of those electric turners that people use mostly when they're using resin. I don't do it like that. Um, I like doing it like this. So. Let's just see what happens. We got some gold coming out of the gate. All right, look at this. Oh yes, I'm loving it. Oh, that's so pretty. You guys, look at that, so pretty. And there's no rhyme or reason here. Just do what you like. Sometimes twirling the cup like this gives you nice, a lot of nice variation. It's so cool. All right. I might have mixed up a tiny bit more paint and um, you'll find out why in just a second. Okay, there we go. Loving it. I'm gonna torch it. Remember, don't to torch too closely because you will uh, fry your paint. But I see the bubbles popping. All right. Now, remember what I told you about the paint that kind of gathers on top of the glass and that will most likely split and crack if it dries really thick like that. So I'm just gonna blow a tiny little bit off the top. how cool that is. Okay, it's continuing to run. I love the way the gold, I mean, it just sparkles, you guys. Sparkles. Um, now, if you want to slow down the drip, then get yourself a cordless fan, a fan, any kind of fan, and get your fan on it, and it will, oh, get out, look at that. Love it and it will kind of slow down the drip process. Sometimes, just for fun, once I've blown the top off, I will just run a circle around the edge here. I don't know why. Just because why not? Then you don't have to worry about the pooling on the bottom of the glass. And I just think it's fun to watch it. All right. There we go. Come on. I love these pearlized colors. I really do. They just give it a little bit of a zhuzh. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna move this glass because I have a treat for you guys. I'm gonna let all the paint run and then I'm gonna move it and show you what we're gonna do.